Hello everyone, welcome back to our BGP uh, Toro hands-on lab. In today's lab, we're going to go ahead and continue to explore a couple new concepts into BGP. One of the thing I'm sure you, most of you must have heard, you know, when you're working with BGP, sometimes you heard people saying, hey, you know, I want to redistribute or I want to go ahead and announce some new network into my BGP. And that's what we're going to go ahead and explore uh, in this hands-on lab. We are staying with our old topology that we have been using in this series so far. And for this particular demonstration for BGP announcing route or BGP route distribution, I'll be making use of our router R2, which is an AS1, as you can see in the diagram. And for this demonstration, I will go ahead and create a few new loopback interfaces on my router R2. Those loopback interface would serve as the local interface as well as participate into our connected routing. And for that, I went ahead and created a couple loopbacks already on our router R2. So let's go ahead and take a look at so we can say show IP interface B. And then we can go ahead and include our loopback as well as their addresses. So as you can see on this router, there are a couple loopbacks that I have configured. Uh, let's start from loopback 1 all the way to loopback 5. And you can see there are five loopback interfaces. Actually, there are six, but on loopback 0, we have not configured any IP. For this demonstration, we'll use loopback 1 to 5. And on each loopback, the subnet that I've used is slash 28. So now at this stage, if we just go ahead and simply take a look at our routing table. So if I do simply the show IP route, and you would go ahead and take see there are a couple entries you would see that there is a C and there is an L and if you take a look at these legends or this code L really stands for local and C stands for the connected. So if you take a look at like this particular one it says the local so we have a local IP address assigned 100017 and if you recall this was the IP address on our loopback too and that's what you get to see here that hey you know we have a 100017 slash 32 this becomes your host route. And it is directly connected behind your loopback to or onto your loopback to. Now this is really it says okay hey, you have a local route and slash 32 really indicates again a host route which is locally present on this particular route. And for this particular host specific route the subnet is 10.0.0.16 slash 28 and that's why it is shown as the connected route. So that means if there is a traffic that is being sent for this particular subnet 10.0.0.0.16 slash 28, that traffic will be sent directly to the loopback too because this is the interface where we have this particular subnet connected and on the same loopback we have this particular host also connected. So that's how you can see that there are a couple connected as well as local routes present on our local IP route table. So now we'll go ahead and announce these routes or we will go ahead and redistribute these connected routes into our bgp and if you recall from previous lab we already have a bgp running so now we'll go ahead and redistribute or announce these routes in the form of these loopback interfaces that we are using into our bgp and the config is very simple so you go to config p you go inside your bgp process in this case our bgp process is one on this particular router and if you do a question mark, there are a couple of commands. And one of the commands that we are interested in here, it says redistribute. And the, all the idea behind redistribute is really redistribute information from another routing protocol. Majority of the time, most of you have worked, if you know the BGP or you're learning BGP, that you know we do the redistribute command really to redistribute information from an another routing protocol. But in this case or for this demonstration, we will be redistributing these connected routes. And the command for that is redistribute. And if you do a further question mark, there are a couple options that you can go ahead and make use like BGP, ISIS, OSPF, or RIP route, static route, as well as for a specific work. In this case, we are connect interested in redistributing our connected route. So I'll say redistribute connected. And if you do a question mark, there are a couple things that you can go ahead and specify when you are doing a redistribution. Like we can go ahead and populate a metric. So that metric will be used uh, in your routes. We can go ahead and do some route map that we'll go ahead and explore further. But for the time being, we'll just simply want to redistribute these connected routes. And as soon as you have done this command, what we went and just did, we went ahead and redistributed these connected routes into our 
BGP process. And now we can go ahead and verify that. So let's come out from the config mode. And I can go ahead and simply take a look at our BGP table by using the command show IP BGP. And if you go ahead and press enter, you would get to see now on this, these are the five subnet or network that we went and just redistributed. And how would you verify really, you know, these are the routes which got redistributed? One of the easiest ways, yes, we can go ahead and pay attention to the network as well as if you take a look at the next stop. Here, the next stop is really 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0, .0. So, any time for any network inside a BGP table, when you see a next stop of is a 0 .0, 0.0.0.0, this line really indicates that these routes were locally inserted into the BGP table. That means, like as an end user went ahead and redistributed these networks manually. And these networks are really sitting on this particular router. So if somebody wants to reach, they are physically or locally attached or connected route onto this particular router. As well as there is another thing that I want you to pay attention on this particular line is the question mark. This question mark really indicates the origin code. So there are a couple origin codes that you get to see. If you take a look at like this particular line, here the origin code is uh, lowercase i. So which really stands for IGP. So you have a different type of uh, origin codes i for igp e for egp and question mark is really incomplete so at the moment when we went and redistributed or announced these networks into bgp the origin code is really incomplete so pay attention and remember this we will go ahead and work or solve this problem into the upcoming lab but what we just did using that redistribute connected command we went and redistributed all the connected route which were present on this router and we went ahead and advertised or announced or redistributed into our BGP and that's why we can take a look at in the BGP table. But now there are some situations you know on this router like there were five loopback interfaces. We went when we used the redistributed command yes it did the magic it went and announced all of these networks into BGP but sometimes you want to do some certain filtering. Let's say you know hey you know I don't want to I want to redistribute my connected route but I don't want to announce or redistribute all of my connected route. I want to be selective so we can go ahead and do some kind of a filtering and for that we can go ahead and make use of our another concept which is where we're going to go ahead and use the access list and when we are redistributing this connected route now we'll go ahead and explore a new concept which is called a distribute a list. So now let's go ahead and take a look at and see how we can go ahead and implement the same thing. So now, you know, when we go ahead and redistribute, these were the five connected routes. So now let's pick two of the connected routes that we are interested in redistributing into our BGP. Let's go ahead and pick slash 16 and slash 48 for our demonstration. So now let's go to the configure terminal and now we'll go ahead and create an access list. So with the access list, you can go ahead and give it a number. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and create a standard access list because we are not doing anything. So we'll say access list one. And now we are interested in permitting. So we want to permit. So we can go ahead and give a particular host or a network. In this case, we are interested in, let's say, permitting uh, this particular one, which is 10.0.0.16 and 10.0.0.48. So let's go ahead and start typing that 10.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
sending an update or you know interested in advertising or announcing or redistributing into BGP. So we'll go ahead and make use of the distribute list with the distribute list you can give an access list number and if you remember the access list that we created is one. Now if you press a question mark further here the filtering can be done in either incoming direction or as well as outgoing direction. In this case we are interested in filtering these updates when we are sending because these are the interfaces present locally on this router R2. That means if we are sending any update to our BGP neighbors and in this case if you remember our router R2 is BGP has a neighbor relationship towards our router ISP1 and towards router ISP2. So that means when we are advertising these updates, we want to filter all of these outgoing updates towards these two neighbors. So the direction will go ahead and make use of this out. And now there are a few things that we are interested in doing. And one of the things that we are interested in is connected. Okay, you know, we want to distribute a list one out based on our for our connected routes. And you simply go ahead and press enter. So at this stage, what we entered in did in the BGP. We created an access list. In the access list, we only permitted two networks, 16 and 48. And now when we are advertising these connected routes towards our neighbor, we are making use of this distributed list feature, which will go ahead and filter our BGP routing updates in the outgoing direction for the connected networks. So now at this stage, if you take a look at here, Take a look at the did our BGP table got updated? No, so the BGP table still has entered because if you remember, BGP is not very known for a fast convergence. So let's go ahead and clear all of our BGP sessions on this router. So I'll use the command clear IP BGP star that would go ahead and tear down our BGP. Now let's give it a couple seconds. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our BGP routing table one more time show IP BGP okay uh, give it a few more minutes that looks like it's still rebuilding okay let's give it a few more seconds I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and then come back. I think it is taking a little time. Okay, it was just a few more seconds. Uh, now you can see that those two network with doc 16 and dot 48 got advertised or announced or got redistributed into our BGP. And again, the next stop is zero because these are locally serving. And again, the origin code is really incomplete. And this is something we're going to go ahead and explore further into our upcoming labs. But hopefully you got the idea, you know, when you hear the term, hey, you know, I want to redistribute my connected route or I want to announce some of the network into BGP. So you can go ahead and make use of the redistribute command. And that's what we went ahead and did in this particular lab. I will see you guys in the next lab. Thank you.